Okay, um, now this is the splendid toilet uh, facility that was built for us, partly at my design, by Julia's um, nephew, Matt Bailey, who is a Cambridge architect, Cambridge graduated architect, who uh, has a particular interest in um, low impact structures, and he's lived in India. And, uh, interesting guy. Um, anyway, this is our compost toilet, and um, today uh, we're emptying these. So how long have these been in use for, Julia? Uh, two years. Yeah, two years, okay, and quite a few people have been out to the orchard, haven't they? Yeah. And um, yes, I'm not going to be t uh, vulgar about this, but anyway, uh, this is um, our toilet facility, and um, do you want to just remove the lid? Yep. I'm not going to show anything unduly disgusting, but you know, we all know um, we all have our carbon-based life systems with um, exit pipes, and so we know what it amounts to. Well, we can. We have sure, okay. A, a dustbin that's sunk in there. We can just put the lid on there. Yeah, there's a dustbin in there. Safe to And um, yeah, there's a dustbin there, and uh, uh, let's just see if we can lift this out. I think there we probably can. Tell you what, I, I've got. Uh, can I come on this side? Yeah, because I've, oh, I've got my only one in hand is gloved. Um, twinned with a toilet in Bangladesh. You can send money to Tear Fund for toilet twinning, and they help poor people like build to toilets, which makes a big difference to their the life. Very base of that toilet, where we've taken out the dustbin. Yeah, there's a pit there, and um, there are some small, a number of small holes are drilled in the bottom of the. Um, uh, the toilet with the bucket. Every time people use it, they're asked to chuck in a handful of uh, wood shavings. Um, there's no water involved. It's a completely uh, waterless system, and any fluid that isn't um, absorbed into the um, shavings will gradually percolate its way down. Uh, it's not particularly smelly. Um, I've never noticed. Well, the sawdust absorbs the odours and I got the idea because people use this sort of wood chip for animal bedding yeah so it seems a sensible thing to put in our human toilet yeah and it really does deodorise the uh, content well, that's what went a long way um yeah so um the the more solid material tends to dry out uh, uh you wouldn't persuade me to use a chemical lavatory out here uh, the ecological costs for those are appalling and the, um, uh, the human material doesn't break down, it gets sort of uh, preserved. And they smell horrible. With this system, it's a very low input system, and the, um, the waste material tends to decompose and rots down nicely, and we'll show you what we're going to do with it. Uh, put around this far, this the far the side of the, of the thin uh, of iron. Um, over 18 months of use. 18 months, yeah. Is the material dehydrates, it evaporates, it breaks down, you get a natural... Um, it's colonised with little rose beetles, yeah. which are like small dung beetles, yeah. and they break it down quite quickly. Okay, right, I'm going to put this down just exactly here. Oh, okay, well I'm not going to show you the insides of that, it's a little bit gross, but it won't be particularly nasty. So, what we have here, thanks you, I'll see you later. What we have here is a trench which is about a foot and a bit, it's over a foot deep. It's about 12 feet long. And um, the contents of the, uh, you know, the, the, the um, desiccated, dried out, um, partially composted human waste uh, from um, these two buckets is going to be, I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna show you me doing it. Um, it's gonna be tipped over into this um, 12 foot long one foot deep, two foot wide trench, and then um, the soil's going to be replaced over it. And once that's been done, I'm going to plant pumpkins over this. And um, some people might be thinking, I don't know about that. But we did it last year, and we've eaten, we've eaten the pumpkins. And why on earth not? Um, you know, we are humans. We are um, rather remarkable animals. I mean. I don't want to talk about that sort of issue really at this time, but humans are pretty amazing. Um, but we are made up of atoms, atoms, very cleverly arranged atoms. We're made up of carbon and sulfur and phosphate and nitrogen and calcium and copper and iron and stuff like that. 
And um, you know, if you could isolate an individual iron um, atom in my body, it's probably been through since the world began hundreds, if not thousands, of other bodies. And, and after I die, uh, um, I will be buried and um, hopefully trees will grow over my grave and depending on how long this planet goes on for quite likely you know leaves from that tree that of my nutrients have gone up into will fall and be eaten by earthworms and maybe the worms will be eaten by trout and maybe you will catch one of those trout and eat it or one of your descendants will uh, I expect in fact the song Ilkla Mor Bartat if any of you knows that uh, addresses this particular set of issues so, can you put human poo and wee uh, back into the ground and then grow vegetables over it? There is a very simple answer to this. Yes, you can. However, um, you have to be careful about which vegetables you're going to use. And if you grow pumpkins, which we do, uh, you have got absolutely no problem whatsoever, apart from possibly an issue of squeamishness. Um, because you know the carbon atoms in your pumpkin um, have been taken up from the ground through the roots of the system have been combined or nitrogen atoms sulfur atoms combined with other atoms to produce a perfectly wholesome food and in the case of pumpkins it's surrounded by a nice um, solid um, shell which will enable you to keep a pumpkin for up to a year which we often do but we're st it's in the end of March now we're still eating last year's pumpkins and then of course you cook them so there is zero point zero zero percent risk of any bacterial problem uh, of any kind even if people who were using this um, uh, lavatory facility had really nasty infectious bowel diseases um, it, it would still be rendered completely zero risk through this process. Obviously, you would not put raw sewage into the ground and then grow carrots or lettuce on it and then eat them raw. That would just be silly. But anyway, I hope this video um, hasn't offended anybody, uh, but this is how our ancestors live. And if humanity continues for more than another couple of hundred years, uh, the fossil fuel will run out. Um, life in the big cities will become unsustainable and um, uh, the more of us learn to live off-grid as far as we reasonably can or at least learn the skills that will enable us to live off-grid then the better. And this is rather a simple skill disposing of your own waste um, uh, appropriately and indeed getting some very good pumpkins out of it as well.